Some of you may have noticed over the past few weeks, my jaw has become drastically wider. And I'm honestly surprised more of you didn't notice. This came about fairly unintentionally. I heard that chewing gum will increase stomach acid production, gastric juices, and improve my digestion. On a side note, I knew that mewing and facial posture could be achieved by chewing to some degree, but I wasn't too sure of this. And when people talk about mewing, they don't usually talk about chewing gum or anything. So I decided to chew large pieces of gum that were hard to bite down on several hours per day. Now, this was over the course of about several days uh, where I was chewing gum for four to five hours a day and my face looked swollen like a balloon. You know, there was obviously a lot of water and intracellular fluid in my jaw muscles that was a result of the inflammation and the hypertrophy, the muscle growth in my jaw. And the reason this is so dramatic for me as opposed to other people is several factors. One, I had jaw surgery in the past. So my chin and my face is a bit smaller than a normal person's face would be in relation to their jaw muscles. Two, I have a very narrow face and therefore my jaw was actually pretty narrow even though I had a strong jawline. This makes it so the jaw muscles on the side are more exaggerated when they are activated. And the final factor is that I never really chewed or had proper facial posture. My face never developed properly. So it's safe to say my jaw muscles were very weak my whole life and underactive. So this combination of fairly unique circumstances is why Frankie Boy essentially chewed large pieces of gum for a week and his jaw started looking like a cinder block, a.k.a. his great-grandfather, Chad Tufano. That's actually a picture of my great-grandfather, and you can see uh, he has a much wider jaw. Uh, that's attributed to breastfeeding, nutrition during developmental stages. If you guys want to know more about that, check out the video I did last Monday, which was what makes us beautiful. So what exactly did I do? I took a fairly large piece of gum. Now you either want this gum to be very hard to chew. I was actually using beeswax last week. Like when you bite down, it has a lot of resistance or you have to force yourself to bite down very hard and really flex the jaw muscle every bite. And there's a couple things we have to keep in mind here when doing this. Uh, one is symmetry. You have to chew pretty evenly on both sides. Otherwise, one jaw muscle is going to be bigger than the other jaw muscle. Another thing is, and this was from Dr. Mike Mew, who practices orthotropics, a form of facial development, is you want to keep your lips sealed. So when you chew, it's not like open mouth chewing, like, nah, 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 I went to the mall today with my friends. Not that type of stuff, okay? So what we want to do is keep our lips sealed and chew. And notice how my mouth is going counterclockwise right now. That's the position that it's comfortable to go in on this side. If I chew on, because my jaw is rotating this way, so it's natural for my lips to go counterclockwise. Now, if I put the gum on the other side, it's more natural to go clockwise. So when I bite down, what I'm doing is I'm really, when I, when I rotate my lips, I'm really squeezing the upper lip and trying to push the upper lip out to work the facial muscles. So almost like I'm trying to kiss someone. So lip sealed really activating the facial muscles, the lips. And this depends on yourself individually. What part of your face is weak? I have a weaker upper lip compared to my lower lip, so I try to accentuate the upper lip motion. Uh, the other thing is where the gum is positioned on the, the teeth ridge. So you could have the gum on the side on the molars, or you could put the gum in front here and chew like this. And when you chew when the when you chew with your lip sealed when the gum is in front, that works the roots of the front teeth and strengthens them. That's very important as well. When you put the gum under the front teeth, 
it's more of a workout for the, the, the lips and the front face as opposed to the jaw. But we want even facial symmetry. So that's pretty much all I did to widen my jaw. Uh, I've heard people doing exercises where they push the gum against the roof of their mouth, and I did that a little bit. That's really important for making sure your tongue is in a proper position in your mouth. Uh, this is what people that talk about mewing talk about a lot, proper tongue posture. What I noticed was when I chewed this gum for hours and hours every day and did these chewing exercises, my tongue would actually go in its natural position. Uh, I was never successful at mewing beforehand, but after I chewed gum, uh, my facial posture seemed to become naturally what it's supposed to be. So, you take the gum, and it might be easier to do this with a softer piece of gum, but you put it against the roof of your mouth, and you push it, you push it with your tongue. So you have this ball of gum, and you flatten it out with your tongue against the roof of your mouth. And with something like beeswax, it's almost, it's very hard to do, but basically, what you want to do is pretty much push your tongue against something against the roof of your mouth. So what we're essentially doing is strengthening all the musculature of the face. Just like me as a bodybuilder, I used to make sure all my muscles were even. Although Frankie Boy never really worked out his legs because he wanted some cute, skinny, vegan girl legs. Uh, the principle here is the same. If you want a balanced facial posture, you have to work out all parts of the face. Now, the re another reason my change was so dramatic is because I'm changing the lower part of my face without changing the upper part of my face. It's, it's very drastic. Uh, the upper part of my face is the same, but everything else, like, from the cheeks down has, has gotten bigger. So where is your tongue actually supposed to be in your mouth? Uh, Dr. John Mew, who is Mike Mew's father, actually said to make the noise, and, and that's where the tip of your tongue is supposed to be in your mouth. But the problem with that advice is it doesn't put the rest of the tongue where it's supposed to be. And although having your tongue in the N position, is better than where most people have it, it's not optimal. And the reason our tongues aren't in proper positions is because we lack nutrients, vitamins, and minerals in developmental stages, so our skull doesn't get wide enough, and it can't accommodate the position of the tongue on the roof of the mouth, so we have to kind of force ourselves to do it. And part of this theory is something I've involved with myself anecdotally. I work in New York City, at least I used to work as a bartender, and of course I've met some very beautiful people in general and anytime I see someone with a certain tier of facial development I ask them about their tongue posture and I know it sounds crazy and weird I am I'm a weirdo in this case but in some cases people with proper facial development don't necessarily have completely proper tongue posture so it definitely has to do with development but for the most part all of these people I've spoken to have their tongue somewhere in the front of their mouth, whether it's by the upper teeth or on the upper palate. So the difference between having the N noise, another way you can do it is you can smile and swallow. When you smile really big and you swallow, where your tongue goes is where it's supposed to be. Uh, that was from Megan Rose X. Uh, I guess I can link her YouTube channel down below. Uh, she did a video on facial posture as well. But smile, swallow, that, that's where your tongue is supposed to be. That's the best metric I've seen for figuring out what the proper tongue posture is. And the tongue is, you know, you have the front, the middle, and the back of the tongue. Putting the, the front, the tip of your tongue on the roof of the palate is very easy. But getting the rest of the tongue on the palate is what we want and what is difficult to do. Me, even right now, I have to consciously put the middle and the back of my tongue against the palate. So far, the tip has been staying where it's supposed to be, uh, but as I progress through these exercises, I can keep you guys updated. And so I spoke earlier about how I had jaw surgery and I wear retainers every night. So I might be a different circumstance than many people, but I have a bite that fits together nearly perfectly. If you don't have a perfect bite, this is this might be difficult to do. Uh, you can strengthen the jaw muscles, you can practice proper tongue posture, but if the equipment isn't built to be together properly, it's not going to work. Another thing I've noticed is I've always had a hard time keeping my mouth closed when I sleep. I've always had to tie a towel around my head to keep my jaw closed, but as I've strengthened my facial and jaw muscles, my mouth is actually staying closed at night, sometimes on its own. So 
What this means to me is a same principle that I talk about when weightlifting or exercising or bodybuilding. We spend all our life being sedentary, inactive every day. You can't just go to the gym and walk for an hour. You have to kill yourself in the gym to make up for those hours and hours and hours and hours of sedentary inactivity. So, or well, sedentary activity, depending on how you put it. But the point is, you spend all this time doing absolutely nothing. So to make up for the lack of doing nothing, you have to be pretty extreme. I think that's what applies here. Just passively holding your tongue against the roof of your mouth is going to be very difficult. I don't think it's possible to achieve proper facial posture by doing that. I think you have to either forcibly push your tongue harder than it's supposed to be or strengthen it through exercises. Because if your goal is to run a mile in seven minutes, you're not going to be able to run a mile in seven minutes by just trying to run a mile in seven minutes. It's going to take a long time. The best way to do that is to do different styles of training. Okay, maybe run two miles, but run them eight minutes each. Maybe run a shorter distance, but run it faster. Different types of training will help you achieve the goal. If your goal is to bench 315 pounds and you can't bench 315 pounds, how do you expect you can't get there practicing benching 315 pounds. It wouldn't make any sense. You would be unracking the weight and holding it there and putting it back. Would you achieve benching 315 pounds doing that type of training? I don't know. Maybe, maybe eventually, but, or maybe you'll pick up the weight and it'll crush your neck. You know, that's the thing. Uh, we have to understand hypertrophy and how it's achieved and how the muscle needs to be met with a certain amount of resistance. And the face is a muscle. It is soft tissue. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys are interested in the type of gum I used, I just went to Whole Foods and I bought some pure gum. Uh, there's a bunch of like natural gum brands. And I was using the beeswax. Uh, I might have the beeswax on my Amazon shop. I don't think I do. But I would just go online. I'll put some natural gums in my Amazon shop in my video after this that you guys can use. Uh, if you guys do want to support my new business venture, Frankie's Free Range Meat, I am looking to provide nutrient-dense animal foods to everyone, and we might have Frankie's Jaw Gum in the future. Just like Frankie's Ball Grease will exist in a couple of weeks, uh, Frankie's Ball Grease, for those of you who don't know, is you putting vitamin D3 on your reproductive organs to stimulate sexual hormones. This works in both men and women. Frankie Boy has a bunch of unique ideas he would like to bring you. He just needs the tools for the job. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's right next to the subscribe button. And share the video if you can. If you guys do want to support me, uh, I'm going to link some videos at the end here that you can check out. Some that I've spoken about throughout this video. And of course, above everything, guys, I would really love it if you do share my channel with your friends if this has helped you out. But outside of that, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Try not to hurt your jaw too much. <laughs>